Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, this here, this is kind of an all-hands-on-deck video that I'm making. Um, I, download, I downloaded this game, I'd say, like a few months ago. And, um, just, I actually, after I watched, a, I watched a quick gameplay demo on a channel called Alpha Beta Gamer, which I thought was just freaking awesome. So, and I was just, I had it on my Steam wish list for the longest time. Um, it finally... It finally dropped. I finally got it, but um, there's actually a three three uh, there's three games of this. Um, when I first gr when I first got it, I was under the mistaken impression that uh, what they gave me was the third chapter, which is what I didn't want. I mean, it just it wouldn't feel right playing the third chapter and not at least trying out the first two. So. Uh, but for those that for those that don't know what this is, this is kind of a if if the Exorcist it's kind of if the Exorcist was a game that you could play on the Atari twenty six hundred. So yeah, like I said, it's really freaking awesome. I mean, it just overall, I mean, it, it I could only I could only sum it up in one word: awesome. So, but let me um. But let me go ahead and put the master volume back up. Now. Okay, I'm just kind of sound testing it right now. I'll go ahead and turn it up a little bit. a little bit better and uh i don't know how long i'm going to be playing this i'm kind of hoping to be able to stream this but hey but i but for right now i just i want to do a quickie gameplay demo of this so a bit of instructions you just I think you pick up items, yeah, just by simply running into them. And uh, push X, and it looks like um, you hold the cross in the direction you're facing. mentioned a few minutes ago um i just i just threw this on on a whim uh, but i just realized that holy shit yeah they do have all three chapters on this but like i said um i i was uh, led to believe that this only had chapter three on it but not the first two um maybe Maybe because the uh, image that you're seeing on the left and right of the screens. Maybe that's what I was looking at. Like, no. No. That kind of monster wasn't on the first chapter. So, I think that's probably what uh, what fooled me. So. I do Okay. Let's back up. Whoops. Nope, that meant um uh, exit out of the game and well I can already kind of see a drawback to this game. I have the same problem now with Pinball Arcade. Whenever you close out of a game, the um the window you had at the time you left it stays up. I have to actually, uh, I have to copy the source. Uh, yeah, to copy the source, then delete it, and then repaste it. But yeah, I have to do that for Pinball Arcade as well, whenever I stream that. So, 
It should show a demo here right at the outset, though. And I'll probably have to leave it on the way it is. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Yeah, cool as hell. Forgot to mention, um, now strictly speaking, there is copyrighted music on here. Um, it's gonna be, um, I think Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, you'll be hearing that in the background a lot. I'm hoping it won't get picked up by uh, YouTube's uh, copyright detection, because I mean, it's, it's freaking Atari 2600 music. But when I do try to upload this to YouTube, if it does get copyright claimed, then I'll probably have to. I'll probably have to make a community post and then ha post it up uh post it up the link to Twitch cuz then I'll I'll probably upload this uh gameplay vid to Twitch instead cuz they're much less likely to copyright claim this. And this game is going to have a lot of notes. It's it seems to be their preferred method of push of uh telling the story. It's, it's that. But uh, I'm not seeing a you are here symbol or anything like that, though. Okay, so I'm at the border. down X, you hold down X, pulls out the cross and various objects, you can quote unquote interact with them. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read these aloud, it's just I'm terrible at reading stuff aloud, so because I'm, I'm too busy, I'm too busy reading it, so it, it is hard for me to be in two places at once. Hi dear. All right, screen just did something. Trees jut out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. Is God damn. Difficult to find the house, especially since it... Father already seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until he arrived at the house. Um, in the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father already explained that he would rather perform the exorcism... Would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martin... I keep wanting to say the Martinis, but no, the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. Saying that having a family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the. Yep. I'm guessing because he, at times, he may have to physically assault their daughter, at least in the black and white. I mean, 
In the shades of gray, he's trying to get the spirit up. You'll be seeing him a lot. And that's and that's the other use for your cross. It's gonna be your attack weapon, as silly as that might sound, and it's also gonna be your defense weapon as well. Hi dear. Long time no see. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's me. It's been a while, man. How long has it been? What, two screens ago? Oh, guess you gotta go. Well, see you later. Apparently, I've already been here. Hey, you again. And that guy, he can come literally right out of nowhere. Like, just before you, like, go into the next screen, he can, he can pound or he can smack into you just like that. docile deer to like let people get that close to him I mean hell in my hell in real life in my neck of the woods you can't even get within maybe 100 yards of a deer and all of a sudden pew, off they go oh and uh, this game also has many different endings as well so I'm gonna I was, I was thinking they had a, I was thinking they had like a save feature here. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm at the border. Nope. But yeah, this, this is one of the endings in this game, getting run over. But like I said, I, uh, I watched this gameplay demo before on a channel called Alpha Beta Gamer. Like I said, he I don't think there is a rhyme or reason to when he comes out. As well as when he comes out. Or I should say where he comes out. Like that. Bones. But yeah, this, this is and this is one of the few drawbacks to the to this game. A whole lot of reading. So, in that, it's almost like a Planescape Torment. Freaking awesome game, but unfortunately, it it basically it's basically a glorified visual novel. Kind of the same thing here. Twins are having no problems occupying their time. That's really key. They found a dead deer and thought it'd be a good idea to touch it. Oh, coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the deer. Oh, things are about to get messy. Oh, damn. 
Sorry about that. Still wish you would kind of tell me exactly where I'm at. <laughs> Damn, dear, you're everywhere. Wonder if this is a subtle way of uh, having that deer run off. Might be a subtle way of telling me which direction I need to go. Well, I've been here. Okay, I've been here. And so that means I need to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to go up and left. Uh, corrupted puddles. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. Uh-oh. Go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. I'm guessing that was one of the hikers. Oh, I've been here. And, uh... Oh, also, I forgot to m mention, too, um... As, in case you hadn't noticed, there is no health bar on here. There is no mana bar on here, either. If you are hit once by anything hostile, it kills you instantly. So. And, um, something else, too. When watching the original demo of this game, I don't recall those two blue figures being in here. I think, um, when ABG was playing this game, I think he was just winging it. But, yeah, it, like I said, I don't recall them being in there. So, this might be a new addition. A new addition to this game. Probably their way of uh, trying to help you out, you know, get you where you need to go. But they're probably the, uh, probably the two hikers that one of them, uh, letters talked about. Oh. Duh. at the front porch. Downstairs and restraints I felt for him. There was guilt and shame. Well, yeah, I can't say I blame him. I mean, chaining up his own daughter. Although, I guess, strictly speaking, it's not her daughter anymore. It's whatever spirit is possessing her, but y you get the idea. Back in the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. Yeah, no shit. I got black shit behind me. Unless that's just my shadow. Oh no! <laughs> the kid's drawing is possessed. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Bet you the kid got an F in our class. Oh no, the bed post is evil. A lot of 
folks who practice Quimbaba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints we worship is San Lamorte, Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. I need to take a look at something real quick. Okay, so it, lo it looks to be uh, working just fine. Yesterday we talked to him a little. When we asked him if he ever prayed, he said no. A lot of times he stayed at his cousin's house and had prayed to some figurines of San Lamarte. Pitch. Um. He got real quiet and scared, scared looking. I can't say I blame him. I mean, you're basically having to relive some childhood trauma there. That's a wound he didn't want to reopen. Told him you could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared. I'm scared like that. See you in four months. Let's check and see the washer and dryer evil. The sewing machine's okay. And no uh -oh. Cannot endure a witness in the proceeding of the right for long. That's and that's exactly what he's what that guy said earlier too. He likes to do his exorcisms with the parents out of the womb. So he called it. And the thing Side Amy was feeding off of that fear. That's once again, that's what. Whenever an exorcist asks, asks to pay, or whenever an exorcist asks you to leave the room, do so. Already, right. upstairs. I was physically worn off, but man. Oh, so this is me, this is me. This is me, the character writing this letter. I should get them back up in the stairs in the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't. I got us back unconscious. Duh! Yup. So I'm guessing this is me uh, again, me the character writing this. Nope, nope. This is the uh this is written by the other exorcist guy. Okay, and um let me see how long this video's been going. Okay, so twenty three minutes. Assuming you can know, let's fix that one. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the middle. Yep. And this is probably the doll of that that god El Fuerte or whatever his name or yeah, El El Morante or whatever its name is. Sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday house. What club? Look, she looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to <laughs> Probably had a slight feeling of dread on that. So any of the toys evil? Oh, and I remember this too. It's actually a pretty hard boss fight. I don't want to... I don't want to spoiler the whole thing, but... It's a, it's a lot more comp, it's more complicated than you might think. So. Okay, 
Maybe she went downstairs. Uh oh, here she comes. Whoop. More of these. <laughs> love the love the achievement. Touch for the very first time. And kind of like Dark Dark Souls, unless you unless you're real experienced with this game, you're gonna be seeing the screen a lot. So, kind of like Dark Souls, the you died. But I'll give this one more attempt, and then I'll I'll call it off. He is here. Okay. So we've already read this. Okay, we've already read that. One of those four directions chosen at random, I believe. I think I'm supposed to be able to go down in the basement. I don't really know where to go next. I can see you. I bleed. I really don't know where to go next. I want to say I'm supposed to go down there. Oops. More this. So, she kind of snuck up on me there. Okay, so... Um, last attempt. Like I said, I don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to go next. Oh, so they just got, oh damn. Those red markings were kind of camouflaged into the carpet. Okay, so... Okay, so that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and call it good here. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a chance that tomorrow, or as early as tomorrow, I might actually stream this game. So, I, like I said, I just wanted to do a quickie-dicky a quickie -dicky gameplay demo of this, so... or. At 30 minutes, I wouldn't call it totally quickie dicky, but you guys get the idea. But otherwise, hang on. Okay, that's too noisy. But otherwise, 
thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.